Hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca and I want to address sort of one of those fundamental questions that comes up from time to time. What is an N-tier architecture? It's kind of a funny term and it, maybe if you haven't encountered it before, it isn't intuitive exactly what it means. The N in N-tier architecture just represents any number. Okay, sometimes it's called a three-tier architecture or a two-tier architecture. And, but the N tier architecture means it can be any number of tiers. Now, what's a tier? A tier in software architecture is a boundary between a layer of the application. So you've got the presentation layer, you can have a business layer, and you can have the data layer. And those are three layers of a three tier application. Oftentimes the data layer is actually a database and it has maybe stored procedures that run inside the database and that's considered its own tier. And so the business objects tier, the center tier, is a backend process that runs on a server that uh, allows your front end to talk to a database. It's considered bad programming practice in modern development to have your front end application talking direct to the database because that traps you into so many ways and it also introduces some security vulnerabilities, especially if your front end is running uh, on a client's computer or it's a website and it's running written in JavaScript or HTML. Having a JavaScript programmed right directly to the database would be uh, terrible. So oftentimes you see minimum three tiers. There is such a thing as a four tier or five tier application. How does that work? So I've worked in uh, companies that split their business tier into two separate tiers. What you have is the business layer and then you have a data access layer that's written in code that can be there are things like Microsoft does have a enterprise library that does come with data access block but you can write code that simply interfaces with the database you can call a method it does one thing returns the results to the caller but the business layer contains the business logic so basically an entire architecture is a software program divided into tiers. The front end, the presentation tier, could be the web development, could be a mobile app, could be running on your desktop, business tier running on a server, and the data tier oftentimes running inside of a database. And that's an entire architecture. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about architecture, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get to them. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video. There's the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this as I create them. On the right is another video about software architecture that you might enjoy. On the left, I actually have a course on architecture. I want you to check it out. Up above is my website. If you want to go there, read some blog articles, things like that. And finally, if you have any questions about software enterprise architecture, just leave them in the comments on the YouTube channel and I'd be happy to talk to you there. So thanks again and I hope to see you again.